up, beautiful people? What's poppin'? It's your boy J.O. Mr. 200 meters. We're back of a bell. Did you get me? Come on. How's everybody doing? How's everyone doing? Um, I know I haven't dropped like a video properly this year, but it's what it is. Prioritizing university and not uh, killing myself, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, I say that like stress. University is absolutely crazy right now. Ridicul ridiculously crazy. Ridiculous. Um, anyways, today I'm here with a quick video because I felt in my heart that I need to post this. I was going to think, should I do it on Instagram? I thought, let me do a quick video where I post and talk about something really, really important, which is uh, a thing that a lot of us, when we're going and chasing big dreams, we forget to think about this small thing that really changes the whole process. Let's get into the video. Lip is popping, I'm never ever stopping. Hey. This beat is dropping, this money I'm guapping. Hey. Listen, it's J.O., I kill it with a cold flow. Yeah, got some money funds, they call me Kojo. Listen, it's me, I pop like it's Coco. Yeah, come to Leicester, I kill it like it's local. Yeah, I do this all damn day. I go to the playground and I don't play. As you can see, I'm still trying to figure out my uh, intro, probably. Anyways, this is gonna be super short. Super, super, super short video. Yeah, um, a lot of us right now are in the age of, I don't want to work, I want to create something for myself. Or you're chasing big dreams, you're an athlete, you're a sprinter, artist, musician, aspiring music video director, all these things. And you have these like incredibly big dreams, very kind of, where do I go? Like, there's so many routes to go to the same place. Like, but essentially, um, the way I look at life is this. So you often feel overwhelmed by like, situations like, oh, like, this thing is so hard, like this, this, that, this, that. How well have you scaled the the target, how well have you scaled what you're doing down to, an, uh, to, a, to a processable size. I look at being a creative as problem solving. Creating is basically problem solving. You have a problem, what way do you get out of it? But I don't think people think that's what being creative is. I think people think being a creative is just creating stuff. But essentially it's problem solving. You create something to solve a problem. Essentially what it is. So you're probably a creative and you didn't even know it. Um, but yeah, you know, I was I was sat in university, you know, often like, like every single day pretty much. And you're like, oh, like, there's so much work to do. I have a life, I have a busy life. So how can I achieve? these things scale them down to a size that's achievable i'll give an example as to as to like, someone who does this and has made a whole big career by himself he's a real famous artist called chuck close if you guys google chuck close he is a guy that has uh, i believe he's paralyzed but how has he overcome life through painting with paralysis in a very 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 acute style of art essentially the way he paints is he i guess have you ever taken a picture and over pixelated it which is like zoomed into it until you see each kind of cute like square each each pixel that's what he does like he, he's taking the pictures up to preserve his memory and he scaled it into like he just he's measured out each square of the painting and he paints just one square at a time other than like some other artists where they paint like the whole Yep, stroke here, stroke here, stroke here. It's like, nah, it's like, he has accurately made a measure of each little square that makes a whole painting. Now, that's so important, realize, because some of our biggest problems are not because they're so big, it's just that because we don't have the perfect approach to approach them. We don't have the best way to scale them to size that's accurately best for our level of current skill. Your current skill doesn't mean that you can't achieve those things, it just means that your approach has to be different. Your understanding of how you need to get there has to be intentional. How intentional are you at drawing your painting, especially for someone who may not have the same reach, the same flexibility, the same mobility as another person? Essentially, this translates to life. Cool, you have an idea, but you don't have access to the same funds as somebody else who might bring it to life. Yes, the world works through money, but your creativity shouldn't be limited on based on what you have in front of you. Creativity is a free form thing. You solve the problem. I don't have this, but what can I use as an alternative there that's accessible to me? Think through life in such a way because it's the best way to think, it's the best way to achieve big things. A small act every day over a long time changes your life and you don't notice this because it just becomes rhythm. It's just like you're just doing another rhythmic activity. It's like, yeah, let me just do this today. Like, cool, every day I'm gonna decide to cook one meal. Eventually one day you've learned 10,000 meals. Now you can write your own recipe book, you know? to think so intentionally about all the things that you do and a lot of people ask, ask me how how do you keep so busy while like doing all these things and, and the simple answer is if i'll be honest with you that's how i stay on top of my work i think on life through little cubes i say cubes but they're actually squares i think little cubes let's say i think little cubes because each part of my life is is part of something bigger I'll be honest with you, I'm not an artist. I'm not a natural creative. I'm not natural like people like Enet. I don't have the same talent level. However, I do have the skill, I have the retention abilities, I have the motivation and I have the drive. What can I do that's better than them? I may not be able to do it so easily as them, but I can take those hours and learn and then split my life into these little tiny squares and focus on learning how to paint one little square, learning how to 
master one square because if I master that one it means I can master the next one and this one I can do the next one eventually when I master all these little tiny squares you find out that you've become the same level or greater than the person that you once felt threatened about be more intentional with your approach and understand the approach doesn't always have to be the same but sometimes it yields the same sort of or better results you are limited only to how you think think differently why is our great art challenge your thinking ask questions asking for help is essential in where you want to be because it may trigger that realization of rock i've just been doing it the wrong way and suddenly things start moving so i want everybody in this night fine monday morning to remember that but yeah that's my message for you guys today keep that in mind because it's, it's big you know don't get swallowed by your dreams just put them in a way that you can really process them Sometimes the paintings that we're painting people will never understand. And what's funny is that sometimes we don't even understand how deep or big our reach of the painting that we're doing. And I use painting in the sense of you don't realize how big or great what you're doing is. Um, you have to focus on mastering each little section, measure it out, accurately think about what you're doing and be intentional with each small bit. Eventually you step back and you say, right, like, this is a beautiful painting. So, 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 so just be, just think that through. Yeah, like, uh, I hope I said something wise, I guess. But no, it's, it's a real, real, real important theory. Take your time of things, take your time of life, time of these things, section things up, blow them up, blow them and zoom into each aspect of what you need to do. Then you get to sit back and look at the incredible works of your hand and your mind. But you have to think, you have to be intentional, you have to think through it. You can be a creative, you can create, you can bring things to life, but you have to problem solve. The first things us humans do when we don't understand something is ask questions. Every question that can be asked, you answer that. And that's how you solve a problem. If you guys enjoyed this video. Happy um, January. It's been a long one. I'm gonna be back on YouTube soon. I just have work that's like drowning me, strangling me ridiculously. But God bless you guys. Share this with a friend, it's important. Catch you.